Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We completed Chapter 4 of last episode, did the Peach part and did the Bowser part, and now we're ready to continue on with the plot. We're going to go to the Thousand Year Door, deposit the new star there, and... Oh, we got email. Oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon! The x knots plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster, and use its power to take over the world! They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon's spirit, but the only thing that can be keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves! You must not let them get the crystal stars! Please, Mario, you must stop put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? Did you not know about this, Vivian? Of course! It, I would land on the one spot that would cause me to take damage. Ahoy, me hearties! We be going to the tropical island. <laughs> the location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Come on, let's go back to Professor Frankly's office. What do you say? We have to tell him about Princess Peach's email. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yes. What? Th that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure that is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Don't leave us in suspense. Give us the scoop, Professor. Hmm, this is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV, you listen up too. TV? Well, you don't have a TV! What in the world are you talking about? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about such trivial details, just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this fiend used the power of the Crystal Stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated by, in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the Crystal Stars, which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this I gather that the Crystal Stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away, or resurrect the demon. Seems that the who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for good or evil. Then the question is whether gathering the crystal stars is a danger in and of itself. I mean, if we found them all and then got robbed, the demon could be revived. But don't you think it maybe might be better to break them apart and scatter the pieces? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests that we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So, once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, yeah? The fact that those goons want the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. In that case, we gotta collect the rest of the Crystal Stars immediately! No time to lose! Where can we find the next one? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. 
Kiyohoki? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. But I'm not going to head there first. The first thing I'm going to do is check my email, apparently. Let's see. Oh, we've got two emails. We have Jolene doing well. Mario, or rather the Great Gonzalez. I never, uh, I realized that I never thanked you for handling my request, so I decided to email you. I never thought for a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the wrestling trunks for me. After you left here, you know what Mush said to me? He said, there's some things that can only be understood by fighting. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yes, he's planning a comeback. You should come by the Glitz Pit if you get some time. You're just the type of the star the fans crave, you know? Take care, Jolene. That's nice. Bubblebur. Spicy. Yes, hello to you. I am Bubblebur. I have been unable to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dried bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They are actually flowers that have had the clocks of their lives suggested to take just a little slower than normal flowers. I hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me, again with the above-mentioned item. Yours in spiciness, bubble over. Yeah, he's an odd one. I don't plan on going back to bubble over and giving him more hot dogs, because we only need one dried bouquet. Um, hi Merlin. Oh yes, uh, who do you want to power up? Vivian? Duh. She's the best. Shazubi! Shazubi! Alright. I should also work on my badges. Let's see. Will not need hammer fro. Uh, in the upcoming world, I don't really think we'll need piercing blow all that much. Sorry, defend plus. I really want to have quick change equipped. At least for the next world. Alright. Let's help some people out. Alright, we got free. Let's do Zesties first. I want you to go find the legendary cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place, so there's no way an old gal like me could get it alone. Please come to my house in the Rogueport Square for details. And yes, we want to take on Zesties trouble. Also, one thing I want to do. Hup. Back on the roof. This guy. Good day to you, sir. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Mmm, three more. Or well, actually, more than that. The Crystal Stars. For a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of the Crystal Stars. Tell me the tale! In order to increase its already formidable power, the demon created crystal stars to hold the essence of the heavens. One of these stars was placed at each country to exert the demon's influence. One of the castles built to contain these stars still stands near Petal Meadows. If there is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. Oh, Hooktail's castle was built to hold the crystal star. The duel with the demon. For mere five coins. The power of the world devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. But the wise Goomba soon realized that this was the power of the Crystal Stars. She thought of a way to take the stars and use them against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan and set it in motion, banishing their fears. The Boo's magic and the Toad's strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At that moment, the brave Koopa seized the stars and succeeded in badly damaging the demon. Ooh, that's cool. But even the brave Koopa's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. Oh, the wise Goomba thought of another use for the Crystal Stars in that dire hour. She suggested sealing the demon forever with the Crystal Stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strengths with the power of the Crystal Stars, and they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. 
Together, they made it so that only all seven stars could break the seal. Oh. After the demon was sealed within the Palace of Shadow, many refused to come near that place of terror. But as the years passed, entire generations forgot, and the penniless and immoral once <laughs> began to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a populous harbor, the town of Rogueport. And some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demons slept beneath them still. That's a good story. Alright. Is there a star piece back here? Yep, get right there. Possibly not. Oh, I know how to get that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a well hit. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty tricky one to find. We get a shine sprite, though. And now we can use the Oshi to cross over here. Excellent. Alright. Get over here, Sid. I want to ride you. Hey, dude. Hey, 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 yo. I've got all the hottest new products. Alright. Oh, the Jumpman badge. I really wish I could afford that, but I can't. Ooh! Book for sale. Super Luigi. Super Luigi Book 1. Super popular. Now on sale. Alright, I'll buy it. Super Luigi, huh? <laughs> Have you ever experienced a time when no matter how hard you tried, you failed, and you, the time you spent felt wasted? If you ever feel such pains of regret, try to remember this tale, the story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi, Volume 1. The quest begins. The day dawned like any other, but little... Oh, this is not Luigi talking. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would forever change his destiny. So, Luigi, danger besets on us on all sides, and we oh, beg you to help. The foul chestnut king has stolen our treasure, our fair princess. The letter was from the Minister Crepe of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with this dire task, Luigi wasted no time curtailing the heroic meal he was making. He then packed for his deadly journey. Knowing that his older, though less talented bro- Wow, that hurts! Was out on a no-doubt inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a kill mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery, an endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crepe, who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. Our land had a second treasure, the marvelous compass. Find its seven parts and find Eclair. So it began. So that's basically like a rehashing of what Luigi was telling us. All right. Let's withdraw some of our stuff. Ow, that hurt. Toad Bros Bazaar announces new shipment of bestseller Super Luigi. Get your copy. I already did. Graffiti Corner. Sometimes I think I'd be better off not ever speaking. Ah, I wish I was still a pig. Morbidly depressed Twilighter. Wow, apparently morbidly depressed if you'd rather be a pig than a human. Hey, you took on my trouble? Well, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef named Meter Delish. Rumor has it you instantly became a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. 
There are many secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's molding there somewhere. Moldering. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stumblebum. So, then. Want me to cook something for you, Mr. Clumsy Crush a lot? Yes, please. Cook my golden leaf. Ooh, it looks perfect. Yum. You got a zest tea. ba dum -tsh. Tea brewed by zest tea replenishes 20 FP. Pretty good item. Did you find that cookbook? Yes, I did. Ah! That's it. That's the book by Mater Delish. Give it here, quick. Ha! I, I see. Aha! <laughs> Mario's face. I've got it now. Just glaze a mushroom with a honey syrup for a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Now that's some book. Talk about effective. Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. Or I could have given you a reward, but you have too much stuff. I'll just leave it here, so grab it whenever. <laughs> I forgot that happened. I'm really going to put my soul in it and cook it with a vengeance from this day on. You didn't know how to cook with two ingredients. Oh well, let's take advantage of that. Honey syrup. Mushroom. I know this is exactly what she just made, but we have to make it ourselves in order for it to count as we've completed that recipe. Now we get the Honey Shroom, a dessert made by ZST, replenishes 5 HP and 5 FP. Just basically, literally combines the two. Cook me something else. Let's do Turtley Leaf. And Horsetail. And we get a healthy salad. A zest tea salad replenishes 15 FP and cures poisoning. That is one healthy salad. Alright, what else? Uh, let me come back later. For starters, let's check the lottery, see if we've won anything. Ooh, but first of all, cool thing we can do in here. So you remember this house, the dad who's the offer? Well, we can roll in the tube and hop out for the back of his house. And we get ourselves a shine spray. This is the part of the game where we start getting a lot more shine sprays, because we're pretty soon going to be able to get the Ultra Stone, which lets us upgrade our partners twice. Okay, I already got that one. Had to check, though. I can't carry any more items. We'll have to fix that then, won't we? One last thing I want to do before going back to ZST. There's a hidden panel here somewhere. There we go. Hey Zesty, I'm back. Let's start by just cooking up a dried shroom. 
If memory serves, I think this makes just a shroom fry. Or this might be the game where it makes a mistake. Either way, I'm happy because the mistake would actually make it slightly better. Yay, that's what I thought. Alright. Now we're going to mix up our shroom fry with our shooting star. That little glowing there happens when you make a really good meal. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm not entirely sure you like this, but take it. And we get a meteor meal, food that refills 7 HP and then gradually recovers even more. Not great, not terrible. Alright, we gotta make it. Ultra Shroom, Jam and Jelly. Best item in the game. We get the Jelly Ultra! Dessert made by ST replenishes 50 HP and 50 FP. Very good. Alright, what else can we make? Alright, last fan. Dried bouquet. Mix this with any edible ingredient that refills your HP, and I think you'll get this recipe. And we get space food. Space food made by Zesty replenishes 5 HP. Yeah, it stinks. One thing it does do that you don't actually learn from its description, it also cures your status effects. So if you're burning or poisoned or frozen and you eat the space food, it uh, cures you of that. So that's one nice thing, but besides that, the space food is a pretty awful uh, recipe. But as you can see, our recipe repertoire is uh, slowly increasing. So that's good. Alright. Let's do... Yeah, elusive badge. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Roadport Square. This poster is anonymous. It may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yes. It's going to be a long favor, to be sure. But it'll be worth it. Alright, well, gotta do- Oh, there's Luigi! <laughs> well, I headed for Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece! You wouldn't believe it, bro! Talk about frills, chills, and spills! It was pretty nuts, bro! Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story, yes. Hey, sounds good to me! Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Uh, Circuit Break Island. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes! Just as our boat arrived on Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket! We soon found out that they hold kart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as keen for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the awards ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes! Right there on the trophy they gave to the winner! It was another piece of the marvelous compass! I almost passed dead away! I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machi machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. Then my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the green, big green 01. I took my position at the start line. The light went green and I stopped the accelerator and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling! I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news, all the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left! I won by a country mile, bro! I took the piece off the trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazafraz town in the east. Then I heard that voice, Princess Eclair's voice, echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess! Random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. 
I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogueport. And that's what it's been up with me. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, I'm Torque, and don't think for a second <laughs> this is that dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it, idiot! I'm not letting this dip out of my sight till he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. Ouch. That's Luigi's pal, Torque. I hear he's, like, totally an excellent machine mechanic. According to Mechanics Weekly, that tool on his back can basically do anything. He seems ticked off, though. I wonder what happened. <laughs> well... What indeed. We know now, Goombella. Bed shop got anything good? <gasps> they sell damage, Dodge! And power... Oh, I can't afford anything, though. That's not nice. Yep, it's her. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Mm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, of that much I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but... nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Um, okay. Yuck. There we go. Knew that was somewhere. That's Ms. Mouse the Thief. Humph. She jets off to exotic places to find rare badges. She's only, like, the biggest fort I've ever met in my entire life. It's weird that she's the anonymous requester of the super secret badge. It is a little weird. Well, you heard uh, Miss Mouse. It's in Hooktail's lair. <laughs> to Hooktail's castle. You do get a pretty interesting reward for doing this, though, so it's definitely worth doing. Thank goodness Sid is so fast. Okay, I do remember. Really evil uh, hiding spot for a star piece. I remember reading about that one. Yeah, now that we've got Sid... We have access to some new parts of the castle. Bam! Star piece. Actually, in hindsight, you might have been able to get that with Coops. Even though it's off screen. I don't know. Someone would have to check that out for me. Alright, I think that's all of the star pieces that are in Hooktail's castle that I've uh, I've gotten them all at this point. Well, I guess I'll show off the new star power ability I got. Art Attack! Art Attack is a really good uh, star power. Way better than Earth Tremor. Basically, you draw shapes around the enemies. And it damages them. And the more you cover them, the more damage they take. It's very good. Unfortunately, it takes almost all my star power at this point. Alright. Back to Hooktail's lair. So she said you needed to use the wind? Yep. And we get the Attack FXB badge, the badge Ms. Mouse was looking for. Take it to her. Yeah, unfortunately that badge is a special item, not an actual badge that we can equip. Very disappointing. And now we get to wander all the way back to Rogueport. Well, I'm here, I might as well get some more horse tails. I'm gonna need, let's see, I think two more horse tails?
Uh, yeah, I think I'll need two more horse tails for the remaining recipes. Just to make sure I'm not missing any hidden panels at all. Okay, no hidden panels in Petal Meadows. There are two hidden panels in Petal Berg, though. Hiding that on me from me, Bull Barber. I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand New Door like crazy lately. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome! I just beat it! Every chapter! Totally cool ending! I loved it! So worth the money! Think there will be a sequel? If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah! I bet that'd be awesome too. When are we gonna get another real Paper Mario game? None of this Super Paper Mario Color Splash Sticker Star nonsense. Alright. I'm gonna buy one courage shell. There we go. Now we're gonna get the last star piece in here. Take the quick pipe back to Rogueport. I need me some turtley leaves for my recipes collection. Even though I'm not gonna be able to use a lot of them for a while. Oh, perfect! I have just enough room in my inventory for everything. Croup's like, I say, why is Murphy stealing my prize-winning vegetables? <laughs> it's an emergency, Major Croup. I need to make cakes! <laughs> there we go. I think that's all of the turtley leaves I'll need for my recipes. I might be forgetting one, but even if I am forgetting one, I don't have a room for it anyways. Ooh! And it's a good thing I took this pathway back, because now we can go in here and do this. You remember the room with all these spikes? Well, now that we have the lovely Vivian in our party... Open the chest, and... We get the Spike Shield Badge! Makes Mario damage-proof when jumping on spiky foes. I want to equip that, like, right now. Let's see, what do we not need? I don't need charge. I also don't need power jump, because the spin jump move pretty much does that exactly. Uh, actually... Keep power jump, unequip Quake Hammer. Actually, Spike Shield's not going to be all that useful for this upcoming world. It's really useful for the Pit of 100 Trials, though, when you do it later in the game. Make sure, yeah, sorry, Spike Shield. Alright. It's just good to have Spike Shield, because that is a really good badge when you're facing enemies with spikes on their heads. I don't think we encounter any enemies with spikes on their heads in this next world, though, so... Not all that useful. Oh. Before we go back up... Hello, Dazzle. We could get any of them, but I really, really want Flower Saver P. And we'll also get Heart Finder. And I'm gonna save my star pieces. Sorry, Dazzle. You can call me lame if you want, but I just gave you a ton of free star pieces. I already have a pretty lucky badge, so that'll probably be the last one I trade for. I'd much rather get another power plus. <laughs> All right, Ms. Maus. Actually, before Ms. Maus,
First up, horsetail. Plus mushroom. Sorry to keep you waiting. Looks like it came out perfect. Yum. Go on, take it, Stompy. And we get a Zest Dinner, a tasty meal made by Zest Tea, replenishes 10 HP and 10 FP. And does that have, like, pink gravy on it? That literally looks like two peas, a spade of mashed potatoes with pink gravy on it. That looks disgusting. Now we're going to cook the Zest Dinner we just made with the curd shell we bought. Seems like the weirdest combination ever, but it actually does make something. Yep, <laughs> you saw that, right? Wow, that's all I can say. Not sure why, but this is what came out. Whoa, go on, take it, Stompy. We got a Courage Meal, hard food made by ZST. Throw it to attack an enemy. Yep, that's weird. Alright, what else we got? Looks like we got a whole lot of nothing. So now we've got a lot of stuff we're going to store. Those turtley leaves we're not going to use now, but we're definitely going to use later. That looks good. Mario's like, I can't believe I'm running out of store space! Blam! All right, Miss Mouse. Here you go. <laughs> that face doesn't mean you found the badge. Yep. Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one that hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge-finding skill than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because, hmm, I'm sure you define lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now, about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. And we get the Attack of XBay badge for real. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Miss Mouse joined your party! Yes, this actually happened. Miss Mouse's abilities, a primer. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. There's something right near here, sweetie. If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, like I did just now. In battle, I can attack enemies with my Love Slap. I can also help you out by using my Kiss Thief move to steal enemies' items. That's the one thing. Okay, yeah. You solved the trouble. Yes, we get Miss Mouse as a partner. She is a completely optional party member. You do not have to get her to beat the game. She has two useful abilities. She's an absolutely terrible partner, except for these two useful abilities. One... Her X move can be used to sniff out where hidden panels are. And two, her Kiss Thief ability in battle can steal enemies' items. And just even more importantly, it can be used to steal enemies' badges. Get off of it. Yeah, so she was leading me to that uh, star piece. Unfortunately, in this area, I think she always leads you. To, like, it's always like, oh, there's something nearby just because the bad shop. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure I already... Yeah, I already opened that. Alright, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be finishing up the side quests and starting our route to the fifth world. Hope to see you then. Have a great day and God bless.